think it's Sunday morning and probably about quarter to eight. And all the footage I had from yesterday of the park went kaplooey. So I kind of thought I'd give you a quick morning view. I'm in the process of closing up the trail manor and getting out of here because I got to go to Seattle today. I didn't like to sort of miss the morning traffic. So here is the lake, pond, I'm not sure what they call it. Anyway, yesterday when I came out here, there were little itty bitty teeny tiny fish and um, blue dragonflies. Let's go out here and see if there's any more this morning. There's a fish that jumped. I don't know if you saw that or not. Whew, right. The water was really, really clear. Oh, it still is. It's beautiful. I don't see any dragonflies this morning, though. But they were pretty. That sun's probably going to blind you. Whew. Cause it's blinding me. Really, really clear water. Get down here, so hope I don't fall in. Look how clear that is. You can see all the way down to the bottom. Over on that side on the bank, there's a couple of picnic tables, and they keep the weeds or grass mowed nice and low. There's um, restrooms and shower, although in that unit, the showers aren't ready. I guess they're remodeling, so it's just restrooms, and you have to have a code to get in. And then yesterday, I went to go take a shower, and of course, there's no showers over there, so I walked over to... The other restroom, which is way over there, that building, and um, got in there and got all my stuff out, got set up, went to turn the water on. Apparently, you gotta pay, <laughs> and I didn't take anything, and I didn't see anything on the paperwork that said you had to pay. Turned so up, came up, back to the came trail manor, and took a shower in my own rig. So when I was here taking this video yesterday, I walked the big loop that goes all the way around the bathroom and, and back. And there were a lot of the R-Pods, and then this little rig right here, I don't know if you can see it, it's painted really cute. There's a place for rigs back there, way back over there, beyond those trees you can barely see, right there, there's a rig. And they've got potable water scattered all over the place besides, you know, what's in the parking areas. There's two RV dumps right here. Plus you've got the dump, you know, you can hook up at your space. I don't know if those stairs, sorry, I don't know if those stairs right there are so that you can climb up and wash your rig. I don't know, they're just kind of sitting there on a cement slab all by themselves. Anywho, so that's this place. Oh, and they've got little, like, mini houses, tiny houses that they rent out. So, I'm going to spend about the next 20 minutes closing up the trail manor and getting out of here. And I'll be on the highway headed to Seattle. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Alright, so I am leaving Whispering Pines. Um, it's 8.27 in the morning. In one half mile, turn left on West 1st Street. And I am headed to Seattle. I get to see my daughter, her husband, and the three grandsons. I'm so excited. Get up here to the stop sign. Um, let's see. This says nothing. I said it before I got in here. I'll just 
up and tinker with it again. Oh, yeah, it is. Um, I should be at Lindsay's by 11 o'clock. It says 10.30, but I don't drive as fast as this thing thinks I do. So I should be there about 11.30. Give myself an extra hour. Okay, let's get on the highway.